Hello guys, welcome to my new video and this time I'm gonna show you how to play and install Blood. This um, this game it's called Blood and it was released in 1997 and a lot of you probably know it as a great FPS and it's it's pretty it's pretty good damn good game just a bit better uh, technically than Doom and not a lot of people know about it but now uh, with nowadays um, operating systems like Windows 7 and Windows 8 um, there are a lot of problems tr trying to emulate the game so I'm gonna show you how to make it work I'm using a Windows 7 64 bits so let's let's see how to make it work um, first uh, the thing you, you wanna have installed is the DOS box which is a program to emulate the DOS uh, operating system you know the, the old one with the black screen and the white letters you just download that make sure uh, you download that program and start it up you can download the program just uh, look in my description in the description of the video you'll find the link to, to just download the game the, the program so once you install the DOS box you just want to open it and you just uh, leave it open there. Once it's open, just create uh, a folder. Just make sure to download also the game itself, the blood. I uh, created a folder here in my desktop that's called blood. And inside the folder, you, you can see all my files, all the game files, um, which isn't very heavy. You go to properties and the game itself just is the size is like uh, 59 megabytes only. So um, make sure to have that folder anywhere in your computer. Uh, in my case, it's my desktop, and you just open the DOS box. Once it's open, you want to copy this exact um, command line. Uh, the, thing, the next thing you want to do is just mount a virtual drive in, in the program to tell him where the, the game is. So you just put mount C. Uh, make sure to put all this uh, to I don't know how, how the call apostrophes or whatever C two points slash user slash in my case is S slash desktop slash blood once you type all that line just hit enter and it's gonna say that drive C is mounted as local directory okay now that is the, the, the virtual drive is mounted you only have to do is just put C and double points and hit enter. Now you're gonna be virtually into this folder. Now you just can hit dear to see all the folders and you can see tile, tile, tile and those files are actually in this folder so it, it's okay. Once we are in the folder you're gonna hit setup. Setup you just hit the setup and, and the classic setup screen that you probably know uh, from the middle ages you know a lot of time uh, a lot of time ago people used to install the games like this um, and what you want to do is just uh, clean sound setup and this part is the trickiest part of all it's it's, uh, it's the hardest part actually so uh, when you go to the music card, just make sure to click in Sound Blaster because all the other options like Sound Man, Pro Audio Spectrum, and all that shit won't work in new in newer PCs. So the only option that is available nowadays is Sound Blaster. Just hit Sound Blaster, and that's okay. We are ready to go. And then the tricky part is the FX car sounds. You just click in here, go to Sound Blaster. Uh, remember the other options won't work just click on sound blaster and you gotta you wanna copy all these things here or all, all these green uh, shits you wanna uh, copy as, as exactly as it appears here how do you do that? You just go in here and you just change every single option here say uh, change address you just wanna click in 220 Sound card type, you know, uh, sound blaster. Uh, interrupt. You want to make it ERQ7. Uh, 
DMA channel hitting number one and 16-bit DMA channel in number five. Once you've done that, just press escape, you're, you're gonna return to the previous screen and just also, once again, you just hit the screen but to make sure you, the, 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 the program on UP, your PC uh, recognize the sound, just make sure to hit test. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're gonna hear that sound. So uh, everything seems to be working fine. Just hit escape again, and just clean save and launch blood. And now the game is working and it's perfect. And notice that we're playing blood, which is a pretty difficult game to make work in uh, nowadays PCs. Perfectly fine. Again. With all the sound effects and the music, it's perfect. You can obviously I'm configure the controls uh, from the same uh, setup menu that we were just a couple of minutes ago, and you just configure the, the controls and you know make make your the the, the control scheme to your feet. So here you, you go. We, we were playing blood. Uh, perfectly well, and if you want to just to uh, modify the window size of this, if you think that this window is pretty small, just hit Alt, Alt plus Enter. Hit those two keys, and the the whole screen will pop up and fill the the entire screen. So the game will look uh, bigger, a bit more pixelated, but it's gonna look bigger. So. Uh, this was a tutorial how to install blood in the nowadays uh, in nowadays equipment and hope you like it. Sorry for my shitty English, but I, I thought that it would be more useful just to make it in English because I think that more people is gonna uh, watch the video otherwise. So uh, enjoy. Bye.